team. And we played them really well. And I talked to Bo out here afterwards for a long time. He really likes our team and likes the direction we're headed. Um, but it's those that one possession, you take a quick three when nobody's there to rebound or you, re you only make one pass and you shoot a quick three and nobody's there to rebound. Nobody's in position to rebound. Nobody really thinks you're going to shoot that. And, and, you know, I want them to have confidence to make those shots. Um, I give them freedom on the offensive end, but they also need to be a little smarter. You're in a one possession game. We don't need hero shots right now. Let's work it a little bit. Let's make them play a little bit, a little bit of defense. And you are in the one on one, which is very difficult to do against Wisconsin. You know, maybe we need to get ourselves back to the line. Little things like that, and you, you just got to educate them. You know, and that's what we do in film sessions, trying to be smarter, time and score a little. Um, but we definitely took some ill-advised shots. Um, and we had, a, you know, we had some tough turnovers down the stretch. There's no doubt. I mean, DJ Newbold did everything but sweep the floor. Um, and I felt for him when he, you know, when he had that turnover with less than two minutes to go, three minutes to go, and we're only down three. I mean, he was exhausted. You know, I'll take the blame on that. I should have put the ball in Tim's hand at that point and let Tim go make the play. Um, the team is very competitive, a lot like ours. So, um, it's senior night, so there's a lot of, there's going to be a lot of emotion, a lot of things going on. They've just slowed it down. They haven't pushed it as much unless it's a, an obvious two-on-one or a really good chance of scoring. I mean, I, I've, I'm only one team deep right now because I'm focused on us and trying to get us better. Uh, as Ben says, the best team by the end of the year. Stealing my stuff. Uh, but th that's what it's about. Um, so I just think they've slowed it down, and, and they're, they're juicing the clock a little bit and trying to take the best shot available. And then they play very good defense because they switch one through four. And Ola does a nice job of protecting the paint. So he, he's playing to their strengths, and he's playing, he's doing it to give them a chance. And, you know, I would probably do the same thing. We'll continue to have our great road attitude, you know, go in there and yeah, know that, you know, we just got to play our type of style basketball, Penn State basketball, keep a great attitude, you know, let things roll out. What, how do you feel like you've progressed this year? Now that you're, you know, 28 games into the season, what do you feel like is the biggest thing that you've improved since the beginning of the year? Oh, personally? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I can say everything. You know, I just try everything. Every day, just trying to get better and better. I think I'm just trying to get better defense, rebound better. You know, just be ready to catch the ball, use dump off from Tim, DJ, and stuff like that. Specifically on defense, why is the team playing so well in terms of percentages and, and you know, defending ball screens? That's everything. I think we're really been focused on uh, you know defending ball screens and uh, just contested shots and closing or closeouts and stuff like that. Trying to you know make them take tough contested uh, two point shots. When you look at the season that DJ Newbill has had, what stands out as a teammate of him and being on the floor, seeing the things that he's doing, not only at practice, but in the games? He's been great. You know, he's been a great leader for us. You know, he's doing amazing things out on the court. You know, he's scoring for us, doing his role, doing everything. So I mean, it's great to be part of a team like that. I really want it.